Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch Rainbow Six Siege X game from Steam, then you see that the game is stuck on this mini loading screen. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to close Ubisoft Connect, close Game EXE or Game Related EXE in Task Manager and then try launching the game. So make a right click on the Start menu and then go to Task Manager. Now over here, if you see uh, any services which is related to Rainbow Six Seas, uh, you can just close it from here. Or even close all the Ubisoft Connect uh, services. Make a right click and then click on End Task. Close Ubisoft Connect services and if you see Rainbow Six Seas or any game exe file running, close it. And once you close it, now you can try launching the game and you can click on Play multiple times if it is not opening. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game, and then check. Next step is to copy game exe file from the game installation folder and paste it to this location. Now, for this, uh, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and find the game exe file. Here you can see the game exe file make a right click copy this exe and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder username and then open app data open the local folder now if you don't see app data over here and in that case click on view select show and then put it on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now find ubisoft connect folder ubisoft folder now open ubisoft folder open rc siege folder and then over here you can see rainbow six so you can just paste it the the file which we have copied from the game installation folder so paste it over here and then you can replace it and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, install latest version of ubisoft connect now for this you can go to uh, Ubisoft Connect website. You can search for Ubisoft Connect in Google. And then you go to Ubisoft Connect website. So first of all, you can close Ubisoft Connect. So if Ubisoft Connect is op open, make a right click and then click on quit and then uninstall Ubisoft Connect. Control panel, uninstall a program, find Ubisoft Connect in the list, make a double click, make a right click. Now, before you uninstall it, let me inform you. Uh, I have not tested it, but if you uninstall Ubisoft Connect, all the installed game may be uninstalled. You have to reinstall all the game. So I'm not sure about that, but in Steam, this happens in Steam that when you uninstall Steam, all the games are uninstalled. So in Ubisoft Connect, when you uninstall it, you might get an option to uninstall the game or only the Ubisoft Connect. So uninstall only the Ubisoft Connect. So make a right click and then click on uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is done, then you can go to Ubisoft Connect website. And then you can at the top right here, you can see download the Ubisoft Connect option. You can just download it and run this exe file, install the latest version of Ubisoft Connect and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to log out from Ubisoft Connect and exit Ubisoft Connect. So you can just go to Ubisoft Connect, click on your profile icon, click on log out. Now, once you log out, close Ubisoft Connect. Make sure that you close it from here as well. Close Ubisoft Connect. And once you close Ubisoft Connect, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can turn on the VPN. So it, for many users, uh, using VPN has worked. So if you can just uh, use VPN and then check. If you are already using VPN, then you can turn it off and then check. Next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right in the game, select properties, and then go to general, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay volume game, and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running, like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay, close all the overlay application and then launch the game. 
Now Game Pass user, you can try installing the game from Xbox app. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if you have a Game Pass subscription, uh, you can search the game uh, Rainbow Six Siege X. In yeah, you can launch Xbox app first. If not install, you can go to Microsoft Store, install Xbox app, and then if you have a if you are a Game Pass user, you already know how to do it. So you can search the game Elite Edition, and then you can click on download. And once the download is complete, you can use uh, you can launch the game from Xbox app and then check. Now you can do the same thing. Uh, install the game from Ubisoft Connect. So you can launch the launch in Ubisoft Connect. Now once you're logged in, you can go to store and then search the game in store. Now over here, look for the game. Rainbow Six Siege X. You can find the game and go for the free one. Here you can see, you might see the free one. Yeah, Rainbow Six C is free. So you can click on it and then you can just click on play now over here and then click on OK. It will be added to your library and then it will install. Once you install it, now try launching the game uh, using Ubisoft Connect and then you can check. Now the, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder and then open BattleEye folder. Over here you can see uninstall BattleEye, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And then now you can reinstall BattleEye, make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes. And then even on this make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes. Now you can, now you can launch the game. Still not working, you can uninstall the BattleEye, make a right click, then click on uninstall. Uh, yeah, make a right click, click on run as administrator on uninstall BattleEye. And once this is done, you launch the game from here. When you launch the game from here, during the launch, it will it will install the BattleEye. So, So we can see starting BattleEye and it will reinstall BattleEye and it should launch the game and then check. Still not working, the launch the game from the game installation folder. Try running the game as an administrator. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and scroll down, find the game. You can try this one, you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check if that does not work, you can even make a right click on this one, run as administrator, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. And then once you select your graphic card operating system, download the latest one, whichever is the latest, download it, then click on agree and continue, and then select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box we say perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now still you are facing the problem in that case you can follow the steps from this video i made a separate video on this so you can follow the detailed guide from here and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch the game successfully uh, so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel